Air Canada and WestJet are announcing they will soon be ending their onboard seat distancing policies. The airlines had initially blocked the sale of immediately adjacent seats to help prevent the spread of COVID-19. Laura McQuillan here with the latest on this story. Let's talk about what these airlines are saying, Laura. Yeah, as you mentioned, John, uh, until now you would have, if you'd flown, had an empty seat beside you. But from Wednesday, that is going to change. Air Canada and WestJet both scrapping that distancing on planes. So if you do catch a flight, don't be surprised if there's someone right next to you. The two airlines say that they are reverting to new recommendations from the International Air Transport Association. This is a trade group representing air Lines. And last month it came out and said that distancing on planes was, in its opinion, no longer needed because passengers are wearing masks, uh, because of the air filtration systems on board and because of air circulation. Now that is at odds with the guidance that uh, Transport Canada has been giving to airlines since April. Take a look at what that guidance is. It still stands. It says that operators, which are the aircraft operators, should develop guidance for spacing passengers aboard aircraft when possible to optimise social distancing and health experts say that while air circulation and air filtration systems do go a long way to preventing the spread of viruses on board planes they're not perfect and if you're sitting directly next to someone you have a much greater risk of being exposed to something like COVID-19 uh, but worth noting though that Air Canada and WestJet will maintain other measures these are federal directives they uh, need to have passengers wearing masks on board there will be pre-boarding temperature checks they're doing enhanced cleaning on the planes. They've also scaled back their in-flight service to try and reduce that risk of transmission between uh, crew and the passengers on board. Now, I've reached out to both airlines this morning. I'm waiting to hear back from them. Uh, but in the meantime, of course, as lockdowns are lifting, these airlines, which have been so hard hit by COVID-19, are champing at the bit to get back in the skies, lobbying the government to lift travel restrictions. And certainly this will go some way to uh, increasing the numbers of passengers they've got on their plane, increasing their revenue, and helping them recover from this pandemic, John. Thanks for this, Laura.